So I was looking around on eBay the other day and I came across uh, this ad for uh, the Monza 2 Plus 2 casting from Hot Wheels and the price wasn't too bad, so I bought it. Uh, they only ran the casting for three years, 75, 76, and 77. This is a 76 release, I know, because it has the red lines on it, of the Super Chrome version of the car. Uh, I absolutely hate what they did with this casting. I don't like the decal when it was painted. I don't like any of the colors. What interested me the most was that I used to own this car, and now I own it again. So stick around. In the 80s, while everybody was listening to hair bands except me, uh, I was a manager of a small pizza place on the south side of Minneapolis, not far from where the Mall of America stands today. Anyway, I was renting a nearby apartment. I was a young, single guy, first time on the wing, so to speak. I wanted a sporty car, but as my old man would often say, I had a champagne appetite and a beer budget. Being a Chevy guy, I found one of these and bought it. It had a four-cylinder engine, so it wasn't very quick, but it looked good wrapped around me. One day, I was driving on the freeway, and I heard a pop, felt a jolt, and saw a plume of smoke in my rear mirror. Uh, it had thrown a rod. I was a fairly mechanical guy, so I found another engine and replaced it. I couldn't get it to start, though. Uh, I went over my work with a fine-tooth comb. I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't run. Uh, it was the days before the internet, so sometimes finding solutions to a problem could be a challenge. Uh, I wound up trading the car to a friend of mine for a van. He came over and dropped the van off, opened the hood of the Monza, unplugged and replugged the oil sensor in a couple of times, and started the car and drove away. True story. I hated that van. I wanted to show you what a hot mess this back had become. What you're looking at is me fixing a mistake that I made, but making another mistake in the process and trying to fix that. And anyway, it wound up back in the stripper and the second time around, I used decals for the tail lights, which is what I should have done in the first place.
is Time Rider, and I'll leave the light on for you.